Dissociative disorders are disorders where a person has a disconnection between the ideas and the emotions. So there is extreme form of unreal world that a person witnesses around themselves and in that whole event the person loses their, uh, their own identity, their own self. There is a temporary alteration we can say in the conscious setup of the mind and the person is totally lost from what he or she is there and this is dissociative so dissociative the word means to dissociate so the person has we can say two different features the person tries to keep one of the things totally away from the other and that is where dissociation occurs now this dissociative disorders can be categorized into four types the first one is dissociative amnesia then we have dissociative fuge dissociative identity disorder and depersonalization what's the difference between these th these four so it's kind of developments one over the other when i say dissociative Dissociative amnesia. Amnesia means forgetting, unable to recall. Now the person is unable to recall all the information which is related to the stressful situation. So the person forgets everything, that stress, that trauma, everything is out of mind and that is dissociative amnesia. And this occurs without any organic cause. There is no head injury, there is no brain damage, but still the person would report loss of the stressful event, the traumatic events that have occurred beyond, uh, occurred in the life and that is beyond the normal levels of forgetting. And that, therefore, we call this as dissociative amnesia. Note, there are no organic causes, no head injury, no brain damage. Without that, these are the symptoms which are being explained. The next is dissociative fuge. Dissociative fuge is when a person has amnesia, but amnesia, which is loss of memory, is combined with traveling away. So let's say there was a stressful situation in city A. Now the person forgets first of all that stressful situation that happened in city A and not only that the person quits the city A and moves to city XYZ and this is dissociative fuge. The person has dissociative amnesia and with that amnesia the person tries to run away from it and this is dissociative fuge. There are complete loss of memory, loss of events that have happened in the state when there was a fuge. The next is dissociative identity disorder. This is also known as multiple personality. So the person when was the person in a stress? So the when when the person was in a stress, the person would be totally different. When out of his stress, the person would be totally different. So same personality with two different viewpoints could be witnessed and one part of that personality is not aware what other personality did. It's not that person is willingly doing it, but person does not know what he did in the other state of mind. So the same personality has two states of mind. In one state of mind, the person would do all the good things. In the other stressful situation, the person can do any contrasting phenomena, contrasting things that can be done. And this personality of the same person would not, would not know what this personality had done. So it's totally covered, it's totally lost. It's not intentional, but it's not it's not in the knowledge of the other personality and this is known as dissociative identity disorder the next is depersonalization depersonalization is something like dream and the person separates the real self from what the person did or what happened in the stressful situation and it appears to be like a dream for that person so it's a kind of dreamlike state in which a person enters and when the person is asked later about the reality, person is totally unaware about it. So this is known as depersonalization. And here, the sense of reality is temporarily lost when the person is in the stage of dream. So when the person is in the stage of dream, the realities are lost in the mind. 
and those are not permanent those are temporary in nature so those this is the kind of dissociative disorders so there is disjunction of ideas emotions and thoughts here in dissociative disorders